Welcome to this toolbox talk on welding and cutting safety. Welders and cutters are likely to be exposed to a number of common hazards, so they need to know how to protect themselves. Protecting yourself when performing welding operations depends on your understanding of the hazards involved and the proper way to control them. The hazards of welding work can be controlled by using safety goggles, respirators, ventilated work areas, safety clothing, and safe equipment. In this toolbox talk, we will discuss about welding and cutting hazards, general steps for cutting with an oxygen and acetylene torch, three causes of fire during cutting and welding, prevention of fire, and use of protective clothing. We will discuss about the hazards of welding and cutting. Some hazards are continued or repeated exposure to ultraviolet and infrared rays produced by electric arcs and gas flames can damage eyes and skin. Welding or cutting near or on combustible or flammable materials, dust, vapors, liquids, or floors can cause explosion. Splatters of hot metal can occur under certain conditions. It can cause burn hazard and can also be a fire hazard. Welding or cutting near packed containers of combustibles or flammable materials can cause fire hazard. Toxic gases, dust, and fumes may be involved in welding and cutting operations. Working in confined spaces, especially for a prolonged period, can create its own difficulties in terms of atmosphere, cramped quarters, fatigue, difficulty of ventilating, and heat. Let us discuss about general steps for cutting with an oxygen and acetylene torch. When fitting gauges to cylinders, be careful and do not over tighten them. Generally, the desired pressure for the acetylene gauge should never exceed 7 to 8 pounds unless a heating tip is used. Never use cigarette lighter to light torch, only use striker. Personal protective equipment is required whenever the torch is used and never use sunglasses while welding or cutting because it is not a proper shade and it can cause damage to the eyes. Leather welding gloves and other accessories such as leather sleeves, ribs, spats should be worn for comfort as well as safety. Now let us discuss about the three causes of fire during cutting and welding. Sparks and slag. It can fall through cracks or openings in floors, under doors, on combustible material or on flammable liquids. Sparks can fly 35 feet horizontally, may smolder in cracks, with fire breaking out after the end of the shift. Metal. Being cut or welded can transmit heat by conduction or radiation and start a fire in adjacent or nearby combustibles. Torch If the cutting torch accidentally come close to or in contact with combustible material could be a ready source of ignition. Let us discuss about some preventions of fire which is caused while welding and cutting. To prevent welding or cutting fires, remove combustibles from area or cover with fire retardant blanket. Keep fire extinguishers handy and be fully knowledgeable in its use. Acetylene gas can pull and ignite. Avoid situations where the gas can pull if the valve is left open. Choose a safe direction for the cut so that the sparks can go in the direction you want. 
Now we will discuss about protective clothing worn when welding and cutting. Protective clothing that should be worn are flame resistant leather aprons, asbestos, or other material that protect against radiated heat and sparks. Fire resistant leggings, high boots, or similar protection when on heavy work. Safety shoes should be used because the low cut shoes with unprotected tops may catch spark. For overhead work, use a shoulder cover or cap of leather or other protective material. Leather skull caps or other flame resistant caps can be worn under helmets. Operators, welders, and helpers should wear goggles, helmets, and shields that give maximum eye protection for the particular welding or cutting process used. There should be side shields on goggles or spectacles. Earplugs or muffs should be worn when you are using a high velocity plasma torch. With this, we end the toolbox talk on welding and cutting safety. Thanks for your valuable time. Have a safe day.